So, my young man, please come here. My friend, I want to ask you a question. When you get healed, and there are others who are watching right now, don't you want to get them healed? Yeah. So you decide. Sit down. Now I'm going to lay hands on your leg. Okay. My leg is my leg is my least my problem. Yeah, tell me what's the problem. So I got um, cancer. So I know it's cancer. Just, just, just translate. He's speaking too fast I, for I'm me. Sorry, I started. No, no, I started. No. I started. I started. I started. I cancer. Okay, cancer. When? Cancer. So I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a, a rare bone cancer. So I had it in the leg, but my leg is it's gone now. We took the leg, so it's a prosthetic. But um, that was 2017. And the cancer came back uh, in, the, in December uh, 2018. So it's uh, my back, my head, spot, spot here and spot there. It's everywhere? Yeah, everywhere. Okay. I'm going to show you some scriptures. And we are going to believe in those scriptures, speak those scriptures. And God is going to do amazing creative miracles. He will kill that cancer right now, recreate your legs, muscles, tissues, whatever has got damage, and you will be walking without the crutches. Do you believe that? Yeah. Did you see these people getting healed just now? Yeah. Were words spoken? Words were spoken, yeah. Have you ever come for any of the healing service? Yeah, I've been to Father John Keen and um, Eddie Stones, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you listen to the word of God, God heals people by the power of his word. Okay? Okay. Put that Mark 11, 23, 22, 23, 24. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered away. So when Jesus spoke the word, a negative word, to the fig tree, the Bible says the tree died from the root. Jesus answered them and said, have faith in God, have faith in God, or have you, have you ever seen some big dogs like Rottweiler? Yes, I've seen some big dogs, yeah. Okay, now let's say I got a bone and the Rottweiler is my dog. The Rottweiler is my God, uh, my dog, okay, and I am given him a bone. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. The audio will stop. Okay. And once I give him the bone, does he take that bone as his own? Yeah. yeah. Can I go and get that bone out of his mouth now? It will be hard. But now you came to visit my house and you saw that bone, will you ever try to get the bone out of a Rottweiler's mouth and you are a stranger? No. Because your hand will be his bone. <laughs> yeah. Because once he grips it, he won't, let go. he won't let go. In the same way, that's the bone that the Lord has given us and we like Rottweiler grip that word and don't allow it to leave you. No matter what the symptom says, no matter what the pain says, no matter what your emotions say. Praise God. Praise God. Is that clear? Yeah. So let's go and read it. 
truly i say to you if you say if you please read that if you say to this mountain now did he say say to this mountain or pray about the mountain if you say so he's not sure if you're going to to say it or not i'm asking you a simple question sorry it is a simple question in english did he say pray about the mountain or say to this mountain say <coughs> so is there a difference between pray and say you're, you're praying you're saying it like that no that's where you went wrong from 2007 17 you have been praying about the sickness is that right have been praying yeah yeah, yeah. but jesus did not say pray about the sickness but say to the sickness when you are praying you are talking to god yeah. when you are saying you are talking to the devil let me give an example i am a policeman we both are cops in uniform and there is a person who is doing crime will we go and kneel down and tell him please surrender will he surrender but when he looks at a uniform and a guns does that mean some business yeah. so will he run for his life or give up is that right yeah. because we are in authority because the whole of the police squad the department will support us in the same way when jesus says when you speak to that sickness the whole of heaven backs you up so who is supposed to be scared of whom the thief is supposed to be scared of the police or the police is scared of the thief thief is supposed to be scared of the police so in your case the sickness is to be scared of you or you are supposed to be scared of the sickness you are scared of the sickness yeah. because you did not know the authority yeah. so now i am going to show you how to shoot so once you learn to shoot who is supposed to be scared sickness is supposed to be scared of me are you following yeah please god so god. if you say is that word if there no if yeah sir if there yeah. so it's a condition if you don't use your gun that sickness will kill you if you use the gun you will kill the sickness okay. have you seen the movie good bad and ugly you have seen that movie yeah, yeah. yeah. in that at the last final they both are standing yeah. with the gun yeah. who gets the first shot okay. yeah but when the one who gets the first shot can kill the other yeah. so are you going to wait for the sickness to shoot you or you are going to shoot the sickness If you say to this mountain be taken up and thrown into the sea now is that a command or a request I want you to read it be taken up and thrown into the sea it's a command be taken up and thrown into the sea and if you don't doubt in your heart and if you don't doubt in your heart but believe what you will say will come to pass so all this time read only this much what you say will come to pass say that again what you say will come to pass so now say what i say will come to pass what i say will come to pass so all this from 2017 what are you saying i've been you are doing exactly opposite to what jesus said yeah. Can you just say ah uh, you have all you are faster than me what is he saying what you say what you say what only only read the, what is highlighted what you say will come to pass so from 2017 what were you saying i was asking the lord to heal me 
And when somebody said, how are you? What would you say? I'd say I'm good. Hey, come on. <laughs> and then they would ask, what about your... Yeah. 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 That's, that's a... I would say I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I would say I'm good. And you would describe even what is going on. Is that right? Yeah. I got somebody on my side. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Now, now, when he is saying that, yeah. according to Jesus, is, on, is he on the right side or the wrong side? He's on the wrong side. He's on the wrong side because he's not throwing up the, the badness. And... Because Jesus said, command it to go and do not doubt in your heart, but what you say, believe that it shall come to pass, then it will be done for you. So my, my simple question is, do you desire for it to be remain or are you going to tell it to get out? So now when you said to get out, what are you going to believe after that? I'm going to believe it's gone. So if you are believing it's gone, the symptom will say it's still there. Now which one will you believe? I believe it's, it's gone. Right? Um, will you believe the symptom, your emotions, your feeling? Or will you still believe what Jesus said? You know that Mama Eileen, in the afternoon, she came to me and she said, that boy is in pain, pray over him. I said, I will not, because it won't work. Because unless I explain to you, you're wrong, and you make the correction, I cannot pray, because we will not agree, and the healing won't take place. So I said to her, he might feel hurt, but I pray that he will not go out of the door, he will sit down there and listen to the whole teaching, then I can pray and everything will be fine. And I assure you, we will see this miracle happen right before eyes, but I need your support. I need you to agree with me. I want you to just read this much, just, just underline, just take this one also. From here? Yeah. What you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. Okay, doesn't matter. What you say it will come to pass, it will be done for you. Okay, okay, let me, let me, okay. Read that again. What you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. Now instead of you, put I. What I say will come to pass, it will be done for me. Fantastic. Th who said that? I said that. Jesus is saying to you even now. So he's asking you, what are you saying? So what, what's the answer to Jesus? What I say will come to pass, it will be done for me. You know what Jesus is saying? Remind him of that sister. She had migraine for three months. And I'm so sure she would have praised God so many times. But when she saw that scripture, just like a garment of praise, garment, I'm laboring. I've got a headache, I can't praise God. Like Sheila said, honest answer. I find it difficult to praise God. So now, the moment she started, first nothing happened, second nothing happened, ten times nothing happened, eleven times, everything broke down. And she is delivered. In the same way, when you say it the first times, the emotions are saying, that's the biggest lie. And you are saying, I don't care. Jesus said, I believe it and I walk on it. Do you believe the GPS? The GPS to find direction? Do, do I believe the GPS? Yeah. Uh, no, not all the time. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if you... No, no. You are in an unknown place and it's midnight. Yeah. Will you agree with her? Yeah. yeah. Because there is no other option. There is no other option. She is also there in the car. Whom will you agree? This lady. You got every right to keep your mouth shut because <laughs> what you speak will be taken into account. You, 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 can, you can say, I don't want to answer that. But you know. Yeah. You know. Don't answer, but you know. <laughs> yeah. So you know that when I'm in an unknown place, she also doesn't know the way. I've got to depend on this lady. I have to take now here is Jesus saying, you don't know how it works. But I want to say to you, Jesus saying, 
whatever you say believe that it will come to pass then it will be done for you so was it is it difficult it is difficult because your enemy is not outside your enemy is your own mind who is going to say but i still have it and you are going to say but jesus you did not say that you said i will have whatever i say all i have to do is do the saying and jesus it's your job to get it done your job is not to get it done your job is to only say hey my friend are you listening if you ask me from afternoon what am i doing i am only saying because that's not my job to heal anybody my job is to say and when i say i believe what i said the rest is his job to get it done actually speaking it is more easy because i am not sweating my job is to only say i have done my saying lord now you do your job and confirm what i said because that's that's not my job to confirm that's your job to confirm is it a deal it's a deal now do you understand, understand yes. so shall we ask god to heal you we shall <laughs> did he say he is going to heal you or did he say you what yeah it i know it's difficult the first time but please understand did jesus say ask my father to heal you yeah. do you find anywhere jesus saying come on pray 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 no. no he said you got the authority you got the gun shoot shoot your bullets out of your mouth come on am i being too aggressive against you oh, i'm trying to make you understand the power is in you so shall we shoot i'm with you in agreement yeah. remember we both are cops yeah. and there is an infection that has entered the city called cancer and we have found one fellow so we both are going to attack by our saying 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 and when we are saying we will close our eyes and use our imagination and believe every word that you are saying is going and bashing up that cancer is it a deal listen i I've, i've i've killed many of them i'm going to teach you so there are two cops one an experienced one a new so can you rely and let's go and shoot it because if you don't shoot it it's going to kill you anyway there's no option do you know as we are talking every pain on your shoulder is gone check yeah we did not even start shooting come on tell me is the pain gone from your shoulder my shoulder is very yeah, yeah yeah see we did not even start shooting and the lord said tell him his pain on the shoulder is already gone so i'm so excited to kill it <laughs> and it's free killing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you want to call the third partner as well? My wife. Yeah. yeah. Because after I'm gone, then you are the one. Did you understand what I'm saying yes. over there? So, so is he supposed to pray or say? He's supposed say, to say. say. So no more praying. Yeah. Praying to God, the scriptures, and whatever you prayed. open your mouth and say are you following yes. you charge your mobile first and then you use the mobile the whole day in the same way listen to the teachings first you build up your faith first. and once you build up then you open your mouth and say the job is done okay so we three will agree now come on ready ready my friend and listen when and i want you all of you to agree with me okay and i want you to close your eyes and use your imaginations on the words that we are speaking okay now we use our imagination on the word of god and then these things will be done amen, amen. close your eyes heavenly father we thank you we praise you Lord it's such a joy 
that by teaching the truth we are able to kill the thief and destroy it completely who has come to steal kill and destroy us you never said lord in your word that your prayer has healed you but every time you saw the sick person getting healed you said your faith has healed you nowhere in the bible did you say your prayer shall move the mountain but your word said your faith shall move the mountain nowhere did you say that god will move the mountain but you said speak to this mountain lord we believe in your word and in the name of jesus heavenly father i and all of my friends together in faith we now speak to the spirit of infirmity we speak to the spirit of cancer in the name of jesus we curse you cancer the bible says jesus spoke a negative word to the fig tree and the fig tree died with the same authority the same anointing we come against you cancer we speak negative words to you and we command you to die 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 be withered right from the root we curse you cancer we bind you cancer we rebuke you you cancer and we cast you out of this body in the name of jesus o spirit of god the bible says whatsoever you say believe that it shall be done and you shall have whatever you say so this is what we say in the name of jesus every tissue every cell every organ in his body be recreated be recreated be recreated now be recreated now now the knees be recreated completely 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 spirit of god recreate those muscles the tendons the ligaments the cartilages the nerves be recreated completely in the name of jesus lord i thank you all the bones have been aligned the muscles the tendons the ligaments the cartilages the nerves all recreated and by the power of your spirit this cancer is destroyed and your strength is flowing into his body lord jesus i remember in the bible peter and john saw a crippled man by the temple they looked at this crippled man who was born crippled and they said to the crippled man we do not have silver or gold but what we have we give to you my friend i have come to give you jesus the living word of the living god in the name of jesus now come on rise up yeah stand stand in the name of jesus hold my hand i speak to this leg be strengthened now i speak to this leg be strengthened now and begin to walk come on yeah 
Thank you, Jesus. Okay, just move your leg up and down. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is there any pain now? Since I actually came in, first day the pain started going away. Yeah. Now, since you came in, the pain started going out. Now, is there any pain? Open your eyes. Sorry. Is there any no, pain? Still, yeah, still not, better, yeah. not, yeah. not, no pain. No. No pain. So. No. No pain. No. Can you move your leg? I can move my legs. Yeah. Could you do that before? I can move. Yeah, I can move my knee. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you can move better. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot looser today. Yeah. Lost loser. Yeah. yeah. There's no pain now. No, it's good. Yeah. It's all good. It's good. Yeah. 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 Now, now this is a progressive healing. Yeah. Okay. There's no pain now. No. Everything is gone. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any anything that you could not do before? I'm not walking properly yet, like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand because yeah. the the muscles have been so the bone, the so, bone. Sorry, obviously I'm getting chemo and stuff like that. So. Okay, you can go for your treatment, yeah. but what I'm saying is so. the bones which have become weak. Yeah. Okay, now you are going to say my bones are strong. My bones are strong. Okay, now you say it for five minutes. My bones, in the name of Jesus, I am healthy. And my legs are strong. Close your eyes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My my bones, my, are, my bones are healthy. My bones are healthy. My leg is healthy. My leg is healthy. And I am strong. I am strong. Again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am healthy. I am healthy. And I am strong. And I am strong. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. Keep moving that leg. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am healthy and I am strong. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that all these words that he has spoken, you said, Jesus, what you said, believe that it is done. And you shall have whatever you say. Angels, according to Hebrews 1.14, you are ministering spirits sent by God to minister those who are heirs of salvation. I thank you, Lord, for recreating his legs, strengthening his legs. The bones are strong, restored, new energy, new strength in those bones in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen. just check again now <coughs> fully loose yes, looks, yeah. completely yes, 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 that is it. prosthetic like so it catches out mm. fully now nothing compared to the leg like others you know. now it's going good yeah yeah can you take one step mm -hmm. you can hold my leg Yeah, you can turn around and walk. Just take the chair off. You could not put weight on that. The wife can see the difference. She's laughing. He could not do that. He could not put that weight on his leg. Come on. You could not do that. It's getting better. Come on. Come on. It's getting better.
get him showing up. Come on. Say thank you, Jesus. He could not do that. He could not do that. No, I have not walk like this. You have to walk like this. No, I have to walk like this. And your hips at all gone, all the pain is gone? It's just from the pain that it has been. He has these tumors that are very severe in his pelvis. Okay, 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 okay. Can you put your hand on the stage? Okay, put your hand on the stage. Yeah. Both of the sides. Oh, Father, I thank you, I please you. Your Holy Spirit anointing flows into the spelling bones, killing the tumor completely. Tumor, be killed and destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. O oh, Spirit of God, angels, bring forth new spelling bones. All that has been damaged be recreated now, completely restored now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe that your word has divine power of healing. Your word has divine power of restoration. I thank you, Lord, as the wife has laid her hands, she believes in you. And from those anointed hands is flowing healing power into his spelling bones, into his hips. The tumor has been destroyed and the bones are all restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Not to be here. Any pain now? Could you see your husband doing that? Do it. Move. Move your head. Could you see him with this moon? You would not do that. What is he saying? If you, if you do this, you are on the bed. Lying flat. When it gets bad, you have to You never could do all these movements. Which touches. So I obviously I can do that then of course. Today. When you see it. Today. We didn't even get the position to carry. So it's home. And now all the pain has left you. Can I get some smile from you? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. And when you see all this pain walking on the field, you know one girl said it's weird. It's weird. Are you also saying it's weird? It's weird, yeah. I have a lot. Yeah. Have a lot. What is the actual meaning of weird? Strange. She knows Strange. weird. Strange. 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 So if you get here, it's weird. Now, this is just you said, I think, for three or four minutes. What happens when you both say continuously, Thank you, Jesus. My spouse is completely healed. He has got brand new bones in Jesus' name, brand new muscles in Jesus' name. So whatever the doctor's report has come, which is damaged, you speak that. Pelvic bones, 100% restored in Jesus' name. The words have power. The angels take those words and bring forth the spare parts. You could not even ever imagine it would be like this. Not that one, not that one, last one. Come on, last, last one. Thank you, Jesus. And when you're putting the weight, is the pain there? Listen, man. You are trying to check whether the pain is there. Can you believe that? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, last, last one. Come on. Jesus, 
Could you put yeah, in case of could you put weight on that leg? Um, I've been trying to wait on it, I got stolen. It was quite painful. I didn't have the power to put weight on it, and like you said, he didn't have the power, he didn't have the muscles to hold on to his weight. Okay, now you have got power to hold on to weight. Yeah. So, when you do this homework continuously, yeah. just two lines. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. All my bones are strong. I am healthy and strong in Jesus. All my bones are strong. Completely restored. I am healthy and I am completely healed. In Jesus. Next time, if anybody says, Are you suffering from cancer? They say, You've got killed a long time back. Who are you? I am a cancer killer. <laughs> you know, that's why I enjoy my life every day. Teaching people how they can kill. In the power of the Holy Spirit. How do you feel? Your husband is both in the show. Now, my question to you is my question to you is 100% he's going to be in the show, 100% in the show. Okay? The manifestation should be taking place very soon. After that, both of you will do what? They spread words. Really? Oh, we will. Oh, really? Many times I don't see them again in church. Oh, yeah. Sure, it's a team. Um, you got to give me team members. Yeah, I have. A, I'll give you my number. Yes. We have. We have your number from yeah. from yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. I'll get you a number. Yeah, don't mind that. 